Hi, welcome to day three of finding the surface area of rectangular prisms. And today we're actually gonna get into non-cubes. And these are rectangular prisms that don't have the same side lengths for all of the sides. So you'll see here that there are, there's actually two different lengths, right? We got two and six, and this is also two. So we have squares, this is a square, and this is a square. And then we have these rectangles. And what we have to do to find the surface area is we need to find the area of these different shapes. So because this and this are opposite of each other, they're going to be the same, which means if this is two centimeters, this also has to be two centimeters. And two times two is four. So this is four. These two are the same. Let me get a darker color here. See that a little bit better. So this is four, and this is four. And then this rectangle is also going to be, these are going to be all two. Because if this is two, then when they fold up together, this has to be two, which means that has to be two. They match each other. So this rectangle is going to be, this, the area of it is going to be 2 times 6, which is 12. And this one and this one are the same as each other because they're opposite of each other. So we've got these two 12s and we have two 4s. Now this one, this length, is going to be the same as this length, which is 2, right? And then this length is going to be 6. So this is going to be 2 times 6 as well. So this will be 12. And this is the opposite, so it is the same. So we would just add up all of these surface areas together to find the, the total surface area of this entire rectangular prism. Now we can see here that we actually have four 12s. So we can just multiply four times 12, which is 48. And then we can add the two fours together, which is eight. So we can do plus eight and we're going to get 56. So the surface area of this rectangular prism is 56 centimeters. And as you know, we are doing squared because we are talking about a surface, we're talking about an area, we're not talking about a perimeter. And we're not talking about the inside, the filling, the volume, we're talking about this flat surface and we measure flat surfaces in square units, okay? So this is how much paint it would take, how much shading. We could actually cut this up into the literal squares and there would be 56 of them if we counted them individually, which would take a really long time and um, probably we would get messed up and forget where we left off counting, okay? So that is how you would find the area of this kind of a net of a rectangular prism. So good luck, go do some of the practice work and we'll talk to you soon, bye.